is up Flick fans and welcome back to my channel. Another episode of Titans. I have done three videos up to this point. This is episode four and we are talking about the Doom Patrol. A really cool concept for an episode kind of setting up a future show on the DC Universe streaming app in the Doom Patrol, so I'm really excited to talk about this. We have been talking full spoiler, so if you haven't seen this episode, be sure to tune away, come back a little later, we can have a little conversation, and this space is for you guys to leave your comments, so discuss the episode, talk about what you liked, what you didn't like, freely, as much as you want, and uh, that's basically why I'm here. We are just going to talk about this episode, what I liked, what I didn't like. Let's get into it right now, and we start at the beginning of this episode, we kind of pick up where we left off because the last time we saw Rachel or Raven she was running through the woods and we got that shot above her. I love that shot. I think the shot looks fantastic. But she meets up with Beast Boy who is in his animal form and let's start with this. Look, I know it's a television show. The budget's not that big and Austin you're just nitpicking at this point but you have to admit the CGI is not good. It is jarring. I'm looking at that. I'm like wow they could have done a better job, and maybe they couldn't have because, like I said, the budget's really small. It just does not look very good. Doing a character like Beast Boy is a difficult thing to do unless you have a humongous budget. So I'm not going to really dig into him and say, oh, you should have done a better job. I'm just saying, CGI, not very good. But me saying that, it's still Beast Boy, and it's so cool seeing Beast Boy, and I really like this guy. You know, we haven't had a chance to really explore his character as of yet. We got to in this episode, we figure out kind of where he comes from and what the meaning to all of this is to him, and I really liked Beast Boy's character. And of course, if he's going to interact with anyone, if you're a fan of whether it's the TV show or if you're a fan of the comic books, his interactions with Raven are always some of the best you can possibly get. And I really like those two characters together. I hope we continue to explore their relationship in depth because it kind of starts with those two. So I really enjoyed what they did to Beast Boy on screen this time. Then we go back over to uh, Grant Gustin. I mean Robin, listen, this guy looks and sounds just like like Grant Gustin from The Flash. Even this time, I'm sitting there, I'm like, can someone convince me that he's not Grant Gustin? Then he starts to talk, and I'm like, even the voice, even the voice, I am starting to like him more and more. The more I get into his relationship with Starfire, the more I see how much he cares about Raven. I really like this Robin. I, I wish, honestly, I wish this was the Robin that we would have gotten on the big screen. I'm still not 100% there, but I really like this guy. We get to see the aspect of how much these characters care towards certain things. The scene in the woods where they shoot the deer and then Beast Boy makes the guy accidentally shoot the other guy. And listen, he could have easily shot that guy in the face. That could have gotten dark real quick, but you see how much Raven cares about the animals. And you know Beast Boy does as well because of course he turns into animals. So he has that kind of what he had in the animated show. I really like how they explored that. You just take some time to sit down, explore these characters a little bit, give a little bit to the audience like, oh, they are very caring characters. And then we get back into the groove of the show. And the groove of this episode is the Doom Patrol. And did you guys know that Matt Bomber and Brendan Fraser are the stars of the Doom Patrol? They voice the characters of Larry Trainer and Cliff Steele. How cool is that? So it was really cool exploring the Doom Patrol. I think that show has a lot of potential. Even seeing them in this episode, we really get a feel for, oh, the Doctor is doing this. And then Elastic Girl, I guess that's what she's called, comes in there and her face is falling apart. You get to explore an interesting backstory there. This was definitely a setup episode. It was not an episode of Titans that was for the Titans. It was an episode of Titans that was setting up, oh, we are getting this Doom Patrol show later. Let's kind of explore these characters a little bit, but I have to be honest, guys. This was another pretty solid episode. I enjoyed exploring these characters. I like seeing the special effects, especially for Brendan Fraser's character. I thought that was really cool. The idea of seeing this mad scientist and his team of super powered outcasts is just really sweet. Now, I didn't love Love that final shot of him sitting in that wheelchair and then it just cuts out. I thought it was a little corny, but I really like the idea behind it and what it means for the future of this universe. There was a scene where Robin goes into a police station and some very convenient things happen. And 
I feel like that happens over and over in this Titans world. Some of the writing isn't the best I've ever seen. A little bit of convenience in the plot and the script, and it's like often you're complaining, you're being really, you're being super critical, but that's what I'm here to do. I'm here to talk about what I think they can improve on in the future because if I didn't like the show, I wouldn't be on episode four. So clearly there is something in there that I'm gravitating towards, that I am sitting back and saying, you know what, this thing continues to have potential and I want to stay on board. It's just season one. We have plenty of time. I'm just telling you guys that I do think, especially after episode four, that this show can continue to expand the reach and get more people on board because Titans, once again, has good potential. Then at the end, you see Rachel basically explode. She is messing up that doctor. She slams me. You know that's going to come back. The doctor versus Rachel because he's obviously not happy because she slammed him against the thing. She put him back in that wheelchair and she's obviously not happy because she did that to him in the first place. So you have a little bit of a clashing of ideals, a butting of heads there. So I can't wait to see that coming back around. And I couldn't help but to think when, when Robin runs in there and he's like, Rachel, Rachel, I couldn't help but to think of Batman begins Rachel and then the main end of course they're like oh his back's broken he'll be fine you go ahead Beast Boy because clearly Beast Boy would be in big trouble if he stayed but uh, I, I liked that you know it's something that I kind of expected go with them of course you don't belong here go explore but it, it worked for the tone I think it worked for what they were going for and it was the first time that Beast Boy, Raven, Starfire, which I've not really talked about this episode, but she didn't do, she didn't do that much, and Robin, all four of them, the Teen Titans, all we're missing now is Cyborg, but we're getting him eventually. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I, I enjoyed this episode. You know, there were some things where I'm like, mm, don't do that, but then there were other things where I got really excited. Thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure, like I said, comment down below. Talk about anything you want to talk about. Full spoilers here. This is your space to talk about Titans. I just reviewed the entire season six of House of Cards last night. There's some people on there not very happy with me because they didn't like it very much. But you know what? That's YouTube. That's what happens. And yesterday, I actually did a little unboxing for a little website called T-Blocks. I opened up their gift that they sent me and gave you guys a 15% off discount code that you can use and get a little discount on this monthly subscription service. I thought that was the coolest thing ever. Thank you so much for doing that. And check out my Patreon page. I have three patrons at the moment. I'm gonna do some patron shout outs a little bit later. And I do reviews and spoiler things and Netflix things for those guys on there. Be sure to check that out, you guys are the absolute best. Woo! I'm out of breath, and I'll catch you later.